What's going on guys? It's the fish and we've got a guest here today. He's cracking three Modern Horizons 2 set booster boxes and uh, he's just gonna get straight to it. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we're gonna see if uh, these boxes are Rudy reseals or if they are actually legit magical cards in the boxes. We don't know. There might be some taco sauce instead of uh, squirrels. Let's see. All right. Looks like the first box has squirrels and no taco sauce in it. Two, three. Let's see if any packs slip behind here. Yeah. See if we are destroying value or opening some good stuff. We've got the commons here. Fun commons. And an Esper Sentinel. And a Greed is an uncommon. And a Bone Shards. And a foil common. And a token. I don't know. There we go. We'll go faster with this. We've got the art card, land, a bunch of commons, a bunch of uncommons, a calibrated blast, a resurgent belief, a gorilla shaman, and a a foil common and a token. So no big hits so far. Sorry about that. Got the piles messed up. Some commons, some uncommons, a Gris the Hunger Tide, Ooh. and a Mishra's Factory, Gris. and a Jade Avenger, foil commons, and a list card, Worn Power Stone. That's a pretty nice list card. Going through these, I'll get better at this. We've got a void mirror and a cursed totem. A nice artifact pack. And a token. And a foil planes. Bunch of commons. Bunch of uncommons and a rise and shine. I got run over by this. I remember oh, in the draft. Favorite. It's my favorite. I really like that card. Actually, I wasn't too sad losing to it. Yeah, that's how much I like the card. Is is that if you're happy to lose to it, then that's a uh, that's fine. That's a token. It's a rules card. <laughs> Tells you how to play. Actually, the 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 tip card is actually better in this set than it is in any other set because there's four uh, champion players who just who designed. Uh, or play tested this set. I didn't know that. Let's look it up. Some commons, some uncommons, and a mythic Chatterfang Enchantress's presence. And let's put that there. And a foil rare. Our first foil rare nice. is a solitary confinement. Oh, Garth One-Eye. Bunch of common cards. This is probably the most difficult set to sort, so <laughs> we're putting, giving you a good example of, of uh, how to sort them, sort them early. It's foil land and a token. 
actually going to put the foil land in the foil commons. The foil basic land will separate it out. Damn! Some more commons. <clears throat> and a Usury Fortune's Flame. A seal of removal. And a foil common. And a burb. You should put the commons and uncommons just to the side. I think it's going to take a lot out of this. Okay, yeah. Wow, look at that. It's a question mark. Nice. And a foil land. Oh, and a soul talisman and a cauldra complete. Double mythic pack. Ooh. Double mythic pack. Have you even gotten any of the cauldras yet? That's pretty. That's pretty good. No, I, I needed the cauldra complete for my for my my special that, deck. The cauldra is amazing. It's really good. And a foil rare. So that was a four. That was a two mythic, two rare pack. When they hit, they hit hard. <clears throat> a diamond lion, a bone shredder, and a glimmer baron. And a Splinter Twin. Unbanned Splinter Twin. Splinter Twin did nothing wrong. Infinity Fairies. We want to see that again. Call me anything but late to dinner. That was a zero common pack. This pack could, could be very, very good. Or very not so good. General Ferris Rorick. A Lens Flare. And an Underworld... Wow, that was that was not very good. Another signed art card. Magus of the Bridge, Upheaval, Glimmer Baron. And we have not hit one fetch land yet, amazingly enough. Uh, territorial Kabu. Don't underestimate that Territorial Kabu. I think he's better than we think. Got a lot of list cards so far. Foil Basic. Bunch of commons. Bunch of uncommons. And, oh no, one uncommon. Uh, Murktai Regent is a, actually a mythic rare. And uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this as one of our rares. And foil common, got a token to the side, and uncommons go over here and here. Art card of the land, the stack of commons, stack of uncommons, oh, another Esper Sentinel, and a first fetch land of Marsh Flats. Yes. And an ornithopter of paradise. It's a foil art frame. I don't know where to put that. Question mark pile. There are more, there are literally more variations than we have piles for. We have 18 piles. Just so you know how crazy people. Oh, nice. She's cooking something up. And a Harmonic Prodigy, an Extruder, an Amoeba, and a Goblin Archaeomancer. Chef's Kiss, a Flame Rift. Foil uncommon and a token. Drop. 
Guys there it will. is, guys will vindicate late to dinner and the uh, foil comment here and another list card. We're getting a lot of list cards in this in this box. Guys, I think Gaia's will is really low. So if you pick some up, you might not regret it in the future while they're still low. I do like the card. I am building a deck around it. Uh, but I have my four, so feel free to pick them up. Do what he said. Oh, a Tide Shaper. Nice. And an unpronounceable name. That, that's an uncommon. And a foil common. I don't know what we're going to do if they start making like a hundred different variants of, of things. Drawn from dreams. This is digital art, by the way. There is no original um, version of that, unfortunately. But it is, it is a beautiful piece of artwork. Blood Braid Marauder, Bone Shredder, a Mind Collapse. And that was a pretty disappointing time. How are you feeling about this box? This box, you know, I sort of judge the box on Fetchlands and one Marsh Flat so far is not not the best box in the world. Yeah. But um, well, I'm, you, I'm feeling good about my, my sorting technique at if least. If you only got one Fetchland, mm -hmm. then like, I don't know, that might be the, that might be set a record for the least Fetchlands. Yeah, we could, we could I set. Think every box we open has had over two Fetchlands at least. And that was like on the low end. Of I would things. I would be pretty impressed if this box doesn't get another fetch land in it. Yeah, it would be yeah, it I, would be I, a sad I, times. I know at least one of my friends um, has gotten five fetch lands of like each one in a box. So I think that's like that's pretty high. Priest of the Fellrites and an ignoble hierarch, an extruder, and there we go. Man, if you if you crack List. five fetch lands in one of these boxes, you're doing good. We, we could, hey, we still have a, a, a few more packs here. You are doing good, my guy. Turn this around. <coughs> Necrogoyf, Mirari's Wake. And a foil common. Foil common's go here. There we go. Yeah, Modern Horizons is basically Fetchlander bust. Yeah. But not really. There's so much good stuff in this set. Glimpse of Tomorrow, Out of Time, Hunting Pack, and um, Steep Through. There you go. This is more of the middle. This is more of the middle? Alright. A germ token! That's what we're waiting for. Deal from the bottom, a Chatterstorm, Patrick Gnomes, aha, Rage Rome, Flip right, it's not looking good for our heroes. So our, our friend gave us these organizers, and they are really useful, guys. If I like, I've been playing Magic for almost twenty plus years, and these just this one little organizer is a game changer. Um, so, what are they? Do you know what they're called? Uh, they're by Ultra Pro. They're, they're made by Ultra Pro. This is a rare, a rare, and a foil common. They're, they're made by Ultra Pro. They're called Card Sorter. And let us know if you find a good price for them online. I saw some for like $6, some for $20. They're just all over the place. Oh, another, another fetch land. Arid Mesa. Not terrible. You didn't set the least record, at least. At least I did not get that prize. I might set the record for most list cards, though. But I highly recommend sorting them like this if you if you have if you can get one of these sorters. Shout out to Ultra Pro for being Ultra Pro. 
Yeah, I'll make a separate video about two them. more packs, and we get <laughs> two fetch lands in one pack and one in the other. We don't know. Well, there's last patch pack magic, so that's gonna happen. You know that's going down. We thrive off that. Okay. We got the persist, the Zeron orb, the kitchen imp, and the gilder bairn. And last pack. Ah, uh, yes. I was looking for one of these. A Sivloon. And wow. Okay, so this is this goes in the question mark. And uh, What goes in the question mark? This oh, guy. guy. <laughs> oh, muscle nice. sliver. Yeah. The old school slivers. So this is a foil uncommon right there. So you want to pause between videos? No, we're just going to keep All going. Right. Cool. We're not going to count. Do you want to count the mythics before we move on? Yeah. We got two fetches. Yeah, let's 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 not, let's, not let's not the rares. Just count the mythics. The mythics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mythics. Eight mythics. Nice. We we'll count gonna... the list. The list cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight list cards. We're moving on to the second box, and uh, we'll see how how we do here. I think we're gonna have to beat two fetch lands this box. We are going to have to beat two fetch lands this box. Which shall be sad times. I'm moving the commons into a stack over here, the uncommons into a stack over there. We're going through this box. None of the packs have escaped us. Look at that. I think you have time. <laughs> we got Karth the Lion, the Bone Shredder, and another list card. Right out of the gate, we got the Goblin Assassin. Two common. Oh, no, only one common in that pack. A dam, a Titania, a Bone Shard, one of my favorite cards in the set. Do not underestimate that Bone Shard, whatever you do. It's not Bone Splinters. It looks like Bone Splinters, but it's Bone Shards. Squeal, a Foil Land, a couple commons, an Underworld Cookbook. Obsidian Charmaw, a Flame Rift, and a Tide Shaper. Goes in question mark because it goes straight into a deck. That's right. So in the comments section, let me know if you guys like seeing the cards all, all placed out like this, or if you kind of like uh, this setup a little more where you get to kind of see everything and um, and then it's all moved out because opening a lot of stuff like this, can, the noble there's a lot of stuff. Noble Hierarch. And a Foil Uncommon. Awesome. Ignoble. And uh, yeah, this is the first three box opening on this channel. This actually is has never happened before, so. Still off to the left oh, a bit. We got the Thrasta Tempest Roar. Uncommon Harvest, and this is a Foil Uncommon. We got nice. a Misty Rainforest. That nice is good to pack. see. And a list card. A, bobble. a Wayfarer's Bubble. This is a. Yeah, I put a, a miscellaneous uh, category because even with these 18 categories, there's still not enough space for, for everything. Double Mystery Rainforest. 
So that means that if someone at a store buys a pack and they rip a misty rainforest out of the pack and you are considering whether or not to buy the next pack, there is not a 0% chance that you will also get a misty rainforest because we just saw two misty rainforests in a row. How's that for good luck? Two misty rainforests in a row. Nice. Imperial Recruiter, welcome to Modern, good sir. You are gonna do some work. Oh, this is another thing to look out for, guys. Imperial Recruiters are at an all-time low. Uh, almost at like a buyout type situation, if they're even as low as they were when I saw them. How much did you see them at? I saw them for around $12. <laughs> and they, no. may, they may be hitting eight. That is eight ridiculous. I really doubt that. Ridiculous. Though. I think 10 is the bottom for them. I should stop opening this box right now and just buy Imperial Recruiter. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can also comparatively look at the Imperial Recruiter from Double Masters, which just came out a year ago, and um, and kind of see what that, that Imperial Recruiter is to reflect possibly the upswing of the... Uh, of the Imperial Recruiter in the next month or two. I wonder, hey. Hey. They, they always trick us. With the, with, they always trucker. trick us with this. This is a, a uh, those, those artifact lands, by the way, that are foil that will trick you every time, I do think those uh, will hold hold up pretty well in the long term as well. Especially the blue ones. And Especially we know why, right? We know why. We know why the blue ones. Oh, of course. It's because they rise and shine. Ignoble Hierarch, Mob Salvage, a Timeless Witness. And a blacksmith common. Another one of these. I'm feeling a little bit better about this box, not gonna lie. Dragon? Dragon storm? No, it's a dinosaur storm. A priest of the fell rites. And a foil common. Get a clue. A squirrel. Oh, it was upside down. Literally was upside down in the pack. I thought it was holding the pack upside down. Nope, the squirrel itself was upside down. A dam. <laughs> and this is common. This is a foil common. That's that. So what do you think? Were the Japanese boxes better than the, that these uh, American-made boxes? I 100% think the Japanese better, are better. Yes, yeah, too bad, because I am not opening those Japanese boxes. And we'll keep them sealed. Seething song. I also, I think that they do that possibly for a reason, because people are opening the set, the Japanese ones, right off the bat, and they see people opening up crazy stuff. And then in a week from then, it's like they're gone. So it doesn't yep. really Patriarch's affect bidding. it too much. One more of those. You know, I looked through my collection and I was like, oh, do I have any Patriarch's biddings from, from... No, I had zero Patriarch's biddings. Oof. No, that's good because they reprinted them for me. Oh, that's true. Oh, yes. Thank you for this beautiful painting. And another goblin. A seal of cleansing. Nice. This is a foil. This one, yeah. These seals, they, they really help you with your um, delirium. And so, whichever color is, is the one you're coloring, playing with delirium, I think red. The red seal is going to be really, really good. Mm -hmm. Except if you're playing Cascade, because who wants to Cascade into a seal? I don't know. Here's a Thopter monitor. This thing is amazing. This frog is amazing. There's a lot of amazing cards in this set. Definitely. But Imperial Cruder should not be $12. It should be a $20 card, at least. Seriously. If not $30. Okay. It's, it's, it's hard for it before, to be $30 because like uh, there's before, so many good cards in the set. Before Modern Horizons came out, Elevated I think it was tipping like Shaman, 35 or something. Atlantic Blast. And a... I think well, I think it was around thirty-five, guys. That's because they reprinted it in Masters twenty-five. Masters, yeah, Masters twenty-five. 
Yeah, but when it was only in Portal, it was like so expensive. An Academy a Monitor. I haven't seen a lot of those. An Extruder, a Blossoming Calm. Storm God's Oracle. Trying not to damage the cards in this pack. Hey, a Brainstone. Nice. A Timeless Dragon. A Solitude. A Karmic Guide. And a Foil Rare. Uh, my friend can actually pronounce that when he opened his boxes. You know, in the middle it says <laughs> Mardica. He as, actually could pronounce it. I was really impressed. As Mora no Mardica Diest did. I'm not even going <laughs> to say close. what I think it says. That was honestly close. Brainstone. Brainstone. A Torah. Nice. A Patriarch's Bidding. Okay. A Bone Shards. And a Lucid Dreams foil. And a List card. Another this thing that's nice. pretty low right now is Torah. I mean, I don't think that card should be under $10. That's my honest opinion. I don't think it should be under a ten dollar card. But that's a card people haven't really broken yet. We know what we, Imperial you know, Recruiter can do. No, we know what Imperial Recruiter can do. Yes. General, a Garth, one eye. You got a Garth. Hey, <laughs> this is like this is your, like a wet dream for you. Ba -bow. This you love that card. This is the inevitable betrayal. Nice. Put in the question mark because it's going straight into a deck. Got the Garth too. Oh man, the Garth is is my favorite Planeswalker. I know he's not a Planeswalker in that card, but he will be. Look out for the Garth Planeswalker. I'm telling you, he's going to ascend and find his spark. It's hey. a Cabal Coffers right there. Oh, you should show and the Cabal Coffers a little bit more so people can see. Ta-da! It's a Cabal Coffers. Extended art. I had a bunch of a bunch of them when they were uncommons. Heard they were going to be reprinted in this set. Could not sell them in time. Basic land. Hey, a rise and shine. A solitary confinement. Seep through and a fodder tosser. So limited is more grindy than I than I a, a lot of formats, and so the fodder tosser is is one of the most underrated cards in, in limited. <laughs> fodder tosser. Because you you have you have reach, so so the the board just like gets gummed up, and you got to do some direct damage to your opponent. Late to dinner. Oh, a Sword of Hearth and Home. That's always nice to get. All right, seal of late to the dinner. And a, uh, this is a Phoenix God of Deception. That actually goes in the mythic slots. This tray is getting filled up pretty quick, guys. <laughs> Commons, uncommons, and a soul talisman, a sterling grove. Archimeba, Ethereum, Sculptor. Thank you. Yeah, the common, the common uh, stack, it doesn't stack up quite as quickly as if it's a non-collector box. I think that's the reason why they made us these collector boxes is because um, people were just getting way too many commons, and um, it was inevitable. Oh, Richard and Doc Hannah, that goes in, the, in there too. Two more packs. General and a priest of the Fell Rites, and 
a solitary confinement. That was a three rare pack. So it is possible. Last pack. Captured by Legax. And a Sarah's Emissary Mythic. And a Fury Mythic. That was a double mythic pack. Double mythic was for the last pack. Nice, We're going dude. right into the third box. You got last pack magic, man. With no, with no stopping. There's no stopping us now, except we're going to stop in the counter fetch lands so far. Yeah, oh my god. Only two? Four Jeez. fetch lands in two boxes. Jesus. I'm calling it Rudy Reseal Packs. He took all the fetch lands for himself. Oh, Inevitable Betrayal, and a Taro Taro Kabu. This is so awesome. Why she open all this? <laughs> <laughs> and a Reduced to Memory. It's a list card from a set that I haven't even heard of yet. It's some, it has like wings and stuff. What is that? What, what set is that? What are those? What are those? And out of time. A Sterling Grove, a Glimmer Band, and an Unbounded Potential. Garth, one eye, Forest. A couple Uncommons, a Marsh Flats, a Priest of the Fellrites. These, some of those, some lightning spears, some of that. A damn foil land. You three flame, a soul snare. Except that is, does not get there. It goes there, and a Tormund's. Crypt Keeper. It's a con. Can't believe that. It's con. The need to remove your opponent's graveyard is strong and limited, so it's a good thing that was that was made into a common. Well, not made into it, made as a common. A Gorilla Shaman, or a Shaman, depending on how you pronounce that word. A Late to Dinner. One of the best cards in the set, for affinity at least. In a Ripley's, believe it or not, and a Yavamaya Sea Drake battle plan and a list card. Signed card. Not three. Oh, we almost got a four. A four rare pack right there. Yeah, Ultra Pro is going to start having to make uh, more uh, categories in their in their sorters. They're going to have to come out with a, a new special Modern Horizons two <laughs> sorting tray, a grief chance encounter, and. Um, some other cards with uh, questionable frames. So say in the comments section below if you think there should be a basic land in these set packs because uh, hmm, I don't know if someone's trying to collect a set who actually wants the basic land. Sinister Starfish. A 
an arid mesa, Mitra's factory, Ornithopter de Paradis, and a foil rare, Timeless Dragon. Brings us to four foil rares so far. A sign dam. That is nice. Kev Walker, thank you so much. Sanctifier and Vec, and a hunting pack, and a foul watcher. I bet they were arguing whether to spell that F O U L or F O W L. And Brad Nelson, Brad Nelson was like, no, it's foul because it's a bird. Sorry, three to one. Lost the vote. Oh, another Sibloon. That's going to be good. Late to dinner and a foil rare rise and shine. It's good to have a foil rare. If, if you have a foil card that says anything about being shiny, like a foil foil or a foil rise and shine or a foil card with uh, gold on it, foil treasure token, those carry a premium, especially in China or Japan because they are money. At least that's from my experience. Uh, net assist, especially in China. And a Grimoire of the Dead. Yeah, I'm not just saying random stuff I know nothing about. I actually lived in China for three years, so. Just so you know. We got no commons in that pack. One, two, three, four, five, six uncommons. A gay as well, a magus of the bridge, a shardless agent, and a foil. Oh, wow. This, this is the money card of the box. The foil tide shaper. I'm gonna sell that to our friend Brian. Lots of commons in that pack. And finally, a Scalding Tarn. Would you look at that? One of these, one of those, and one of those. Yeah, you know, if anyone from Wizards is watching, um, this is a great set. Um, you don't really need the basic lands. But other than that, stellar, stellar job on this whole set. A Simeon Spirit Guide! We will miss you so much from Modern. We need to unban the Simeon Spirit Guide and the, <laughs> the Splinter Twin. They are quite a team. Search the Premises, Angelic Curator, Sudden Edict, and a Torox. Canticle. Torx Canticle costs too much mana at four mana, in my opinion. It should cost three black and not three and a black. That was a missed opportunity in game design. Um, but yeah. Sanctum Weaver. Narco Goyf. We'll count at the end. And a foil common. Nope. Actually, that goes here. Question mark. How many fetches are we at? Oh, we got a bunch. Got a bunch. I guess we we'll, can count them at the end. We'll right? count them at the end. You can scroll to the end of the video and you can count the fetches. Oh. Like you do. So I can say anything I want in the middle of the video. Ah, I can I can mispronounce this. Subtlety. Seal of cleansing. And a foundry helix. See, this box is a little better. We have to go through all your signet signed art cards and look at them. Ah, uh, yes. After the video, you can go through. Ah, oh, squirting catacombs. If you guys a are brainstone. If you guys are this even still nice. watching this, and that'll be this will be like our, our little secret talk. 
at the end of the video because most of you guys only watch like 10 15 minutes of this stuff not even but we're thinking about doing some cool stuff with these art cards so um yes yes stay tuned for for cool plans for the art cards of chitter spitter and ranger step through a recalibrate <gasps> got a roll response I'm so glad that's on the list. <laughs> Got our target blue instant spell for one red mana. I don't, I don't know what the forest, the, the little tree thing is. <laughs> <laughs> one red counter product. Blue, yeah, that's pretty good. Burden command. Get some greedy. Shatterstorm. And it get captured by Legax. Captured by Legax. People say don't underestimate that. It is, it is good. But it's it's kind of a win more card in my opinion. No, it is it is good. It's it's removal. You want you want your three mana removal, especially in the grindy, limited suspend, chainer, cabal initiate, abundant harvest. Some packs are good. Some packs are, you know, giving their value to the other packs. Hey, one, got the one common, the Dragon's Raid Channeler. I don't even know if it's still a four dollar uncommon. Like Nick Paragon Hunting Pack, Floodhound, and a Foil Common Soul of Migration. Yeah, the uncommon was the best card in that pack, yeah. <laughs> which is a sad. It's not always the rare or mythic that's the best card, especially like. After the set's been around and, and people have decided what what they like and what they don't like. There's Glimmer Wasp. That's the first one that we've opened. We've got to have something to, to fetch with that. Um, two, three. Uncommon and well common. We're nearing the end. This was a better box than the than the last two. That's good. Definitely. So So what's your opinion on... The Japanese ones, do you think they're better, like I do? Well, the corners on the Japanese are, are better. Yeah. Um, the amount of value in the Japanese, I'm I am not sure, mm -hmm. because um, well, Ragavan's pretty good. Hey, Ragavan. But um, yeah, Kitchen Imp is my favorite. A Moon Mist, <laughs> that's cute. But Ragavan, that's my first Ragavan, and um, I think I think it's a good card. You know, I always want a, a small creature. I think at the end of the video we should Monkey go Pirate. through uh, some of the list cards you got because that that would be that would be cool. I, I definitely think I should go through some of the list cards. Hey, oh, Dorothy Boardwalker! It's the fourth one that I now own. Oh, comments, bunch of black comments. Yeah, these these set boosters, it, it's uh, they're good because you like all of the the cards have something to do with each other. So I that would be interesting to to see a uh, a sealed tournament with uh, one of one of these boxes. Wow, that pack had resurgent belief and void mirror. Nice. Void mirror, don't underestimate the void mirror because that could be a great sideboard spell. Um, the value though. Um, Financially is not there, but the value for play value is something else entirely. I don't know why. Go ask a commander player. <laughs> oh, this is actually a, a foil uncommon, which goes here behind this stuff. Fury, a braids, a mind collapse, a squirrel mob is a foil rare, and a wizened sen. Last pack. Of the three boxes. I'm gonna go through this one. Last Diamond pack Lion, ended. Zoran Orb, What's that for? Mystic Reduction, and a Foil Common. Oof. Well, I thought it was gonna be something nasty. Thanks for watching us open this. We have these list cards, which I can deal out for you. Actually, first, let's count the fetch lands, because I know you want to see one, two, three, four, seven, eight. We got four, four, four fetch lands in the last box. 
we got two in each of the other boxes. So we got between two and four. Got slightly under three per box. But the list cards... Seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Splinter Twin. Splinter These twin reprint. is very nice. Can I see it for one more second? Yes. So Splinter not, Twin. Splinter Twin is good. Yeah. Splinter Twin is excellent. So uh, I also have a, an opinion just from opening all this stuff, which is that maybe you can get some better hits off the list from some of these other booster boxes. Compared to Modern Horizons. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 Mythics, guys. 8 per box. At least. Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, thank you, Magus of the Bargain, for sponsoring this video. Um, I really enjoyed opening this set for you guys, and there will be a lot more stuff as well. We're doing a free giveaway this weekend. It's going to be live. I would love for you guys to be a part of that. And uh, if you guys enjoy this, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. Have a good rest of the night, guys. Or day.